crispy on the outside flaky fish on the inside with a delicious flavorful coating around it that makes it bursting with extra flavor these fish fingers are a real treat hi everyone namaskar and welcome to curries with bombay and this is my way of making fish fingers so let's get started I have taken tilapia fillets. You can take any firm fish like cod, bhetki, pollock. You can tell your fishmonger to cut the fish like this or you can cut like I am doing like small batons. I am cutting out the ends to shape them but I will be including them as well. I know you will excuse me for that. Sprinkle some lemon juice on the fish. Add about half a teaspoon of salt. This will help to firm up the fish. Mix well and let it marinate for about 15 minutes while you do your other prep work. Here I have taken about an inch length of ginger, two large garlic cloves, and one chopped green chili. Put them in a blender jar. You can increase or decrease the amount of green chilies according to your preference. I have taken some coriander leaves along with their stems and few mint leaves. These will give extra flavor to the coating. If you do not like mint leaves then leave them out. If you do not like coriander leaves then add more mint leaves. You can even use parsley or basil leaves. Add a teaspoon of salt along with very little water and blend to a smooth paste. Do not add too much water. Add only that much that will be needed for blending. After 15 minutes, take out the fish onto a paper towel and soak all that excess moisture so that the marinade will stick to the fish properly. In a bowl, crack an egg and mix well. Add it to the fish, then add the green paste. Mix very well. Now add plain white flour a little at a time and again mix. The flour will act as a glue and help the marinade to coat that fish very well. I needed three tablespoons of flour. Let it sit on the counter for another 10 minutes. Next on a plate or a tray add plain bread crumbs. To it add 1 teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground black pepper and mix. Now pick each piece of fish with one hand and with your other hand coat the fish very well with bread crumbs here i have cracked another egg in a bowl dip the fish in it and coat it again with bread crumbs press the bread crumbs on the top so that they get evenly coated all around So now I'm done coating all the pieces with bread crumbs. Take each coated piece on a flat surface and with the help of the side of your knife press around each side of the fish to even out the edges and to give a neat look. If you want to cook it right away then let it rest for about 15 minutes on the counter like this. This allows the bread crumbs to stick well onto the fish and your oil will also stay clean while frying. But if you want to fry them later, then put them in the fridge and fry them just before serving. You can even lay them out in a single layer and put them in the freezer. Once they are frozen, put them in a freezer bag and then you can have them whenever your heart desires. Here I have kept a tray ready with paper towels on a wire rack. 
I will start frying now. The oil is now ready so I will be adding the fish one by one. The oil should not be too hot while adding the fish as that will over brown the outer coating too fast before the fish gets cooked. So the oil should be just medium hot. Fry the fish on medium low heat and fry them in batches without overcrowding the pan. After a few minutes turn the pieces and fry the other side on medium low heat as well till they become golden brown. Take them out once they are golden brown and fry the next batch. Now I will be showing you a dip that goes very well with this. Take 2 heaped teaspoons of mayonnaise and 2 heaped teaspoons of yogurt, half a teaspoon of mustard sauce, chopped coriander leaves, little sugar and salt to taste. Mix well and your dip is ready. Write to me in the comment section if you have any questions. Please send me your feedback after trying my recipes and if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Eat healthy and stay healthy. Bye bye.